Right, way. I'll just take you through a selection of the Crossmans because you know, there's so many. Yeah, yeah. Start up there with a 760p, which is the pink one. You can get it in brown. More of a blinking gun around the garden. Yeah. Um, it's a pump, actually. Pump. So you pump that up a few times, ping, 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 where you go. Yeah. Then you move down to our best seller, the Rat Catcher, this is. Now, um, we sell loads and loads and loads of these. They're perfect for sort of like, you know, small varmints, that sort of thing. Yeah. And we've even created the Rat Catcher XL. Because people would get in that gun, putting on a steel breech, extending the barrel, putting on this, putting on a better scope, and thought, well, you at the end of the day, we one. may as well just do one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the price, they're only £168. Shipment's coming in at the end of the month. Right. So we're hoping that's really going to take off and be a good sort of start for the rack match. But like I say, that's our best seller. So yeah, lovely yeah. action, faultless. Yeah. CO2 powered. Just stick a canister in the front end there. Where you go, put bolts in there. Really simple. If we come back up to here, <coughs> next you've got the 1077, another really good open size thing around the garden. Yeah, yeah. yeah everyone does. There has been a redesign on this, so in future we might be getting some different styling on it, which looks really nice. Okay. Same with the 760B, that's had a restyling as well. So okay. In the future there will be different sort of looking, and they do seem to seem really nice. So, Again, that's CO2 powered, it is semi-automatic, takes a little box mag there, so you fill that up, slam it in. Accuracy and great, because obviously it's a smooth ball. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, for plinking around the garden, it's not like yeah, yeah. yeah. Good starter gun as Exactly. Well. Again, starter gun, you've got this, the Crossman Raven, which is a really nice piece of kit. It's a 177, and this is what we like to start the kiddies on, because it's quite short at the back end. It's not that hard to cop. It's got an open sight, or you can get it with a scope, so that's really the start off for the market, with the springers, that is. Yeah, yeah. And then this, our best-selling springer, these are rock solid. The Optimus. And the Optimus, which is basically the wooden version of the Phantom, which is the synthetic version. Rock solid, Springer air gun, they'll be up 11 to 11, between 11 to and 11 8, they'll get the power for you. Yeah, yeah. Rock solid, hardly ever come back, we'll never have any troubles with them. Again, really good seller. And they bought the Optimus in with the wooden stock version of it. They both come with a 4 by 32 scope to start off with, so, you know, get ready. Good to go out of the box. Really good to go out of the box. Coming along here, we've got the new guns that are coming in from the Crossman. This is a nitro piston system, yeah. which is basically the same as the gas ram on your car, on your, you know, on your, yeah, your car. Like the old, the open yeah, Exactly, thing, yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. right. Um, that's that one, that's the TR-77. There is a spring version of that available as well. They're new, very new, so we, you know, we haven't had the guns in yet, so to sell out on the market, but we're just testing them all and see how they go. Yeah. But like I say, you can get a nitro piston one, and I think the spring is just a little bit cheaper than that as well. Right. That's Coming down price, here, though, this is the um, well, uh, sorry Benjamin Legacy, Jim Stocky, who's huge in America, um, designed this and helped with this. The price is a little bit pricey, but again, it's it's got the few styling features like the muzzle. Yeah, I like there. the muzzle. Yeah, yeah, and it's got a better scope on it, more of a tactile stop to it as well. And a cheek piece that you can adjust up and down there. Yeah. And again, that's brand new. We're just waiting to see how they pan out. But right. to be honest, at that price, we're not expecting to sell too many of them. It's a little bit on the high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, coming down to this one, it's like a. Hey, yeah, exactly. That's the styling. This is a brake barrel, believe it or not. A brake barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Basically, you break the barrel, and the thing will come up here. Oh, I Pop see. Your pellet in, snap it back shut again. What, that's, oh yeah, that's all open underneath. Yeah, it's all open underneath, so you break that, that'll come down, and that'll sort of expose where your pellet goes in. Snap right. it back, and where you go. So all this is just for show, really? Yeah, yeah. It's, all, it's all for show, that sort of thing, for you know, what people want to look at at the end of the day. Pretty cool. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, and again, that's the same as what the TR-77 is. They're a new gun, still waiting for the stock to come in from America for them. Right, right. I've shown you the XL. Now we come on to the nitro pistons. These are all the nitro pistons that we do. First of all, you start off with the Benjamin Trail okay. in synthetic. Comes with a scope, a three by nine by forty scope. You also get a strap with it, Benjamin Trail strap with it. Again, it's it's good. Yeah, I mean, so the power's up there. It's you know, and we've sold loads and loads and loads of them. The wood one is a little bit lighter than that one. It is quite a heavy gun. Yeah. So you know. It's you know, a matter of taste. Some people like the heaviness, some people not. So yeah, sure yeah. About it. I've got one of these on loan. This is the one I've got on loan at the minute. Do you like it? I haven't shot it yet. No, it's a good gun. They it's want me to gun. do a review of it, so. Do they? 
And the, the pistol. The MP pistol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got that in the They've thing, only uh, just come out, haven't they? Yeah, literally it came in the country last week. Yeah. And we've just started getting them out to the agents and that, so... Yeah, and it's been interesting. To see yeah, that, I've had a few out. shots out. I'm it's quite, quite impressed good, with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. These are in the 360 power mark. And now when you come down here, you drop down. These are nitro pistons again. This is called the Venom Dusk, which is basically the synthetic version of the Venom. And that's 268, so that's coming down to the thing. And with that, I think you get a 3 9 40 scope as well. Yeah. Then you've got the jet standard Venom in wood. And then down here, this is just a silly little Marlin BB lever action. <laughs> okay. Hop around the garden sort of thing. Yeah, it's a yeah. silly little thing, just for having a little fun around the garden. Again, that's brand new. What's the deal with Crossman and Benjamin then? What's the they they own the name Benjamin basically. Right, okay. So and they used to do they used to have a license in the Remington name, they just moved on. Okay. And so they get licenses for names like they do a marine sort of deal over in America as well. Yeah, yeah. It's just like branding really at the end of the day. And these pistols are these all what are these? Just the, these ones uh, at the end here, these are all the pellet pistols. Uh, that's the EB-22. Unfortunately, now they're out of production. It's a lovely little CO2 pistol. Um, it's in one, uh, no, it's in 22. CO2 in there, single shot, pull back, away you go. Okay. Yeah, so you've got that. This one here's a pump-up. This is the HB-22-17. Like so you pump it basically like that. Yeah, yeah. Until you get up to the power. Again, single shot, 177 or 22, they do that one here. Moving along, you got the 2300T, which is more of a target pistol. Yeah. It's got a steel breech on it, longer Wolfer barrel. You can get an upgraded version with a Williams not sight on the back as well. So, but that's the okay. 2300S. Bit pricey, but that's for your real proper target shooters. Yeah, so yeah. Really good. Next one along here, this is our best seller. It's the 2240. If you look at the action, it's exactly the same as what's on the Rat Catcher. So oh, it's basically in, version, in pistol yeah, form, CO2 again. It's called the Rat Buster. And the power is as close to the legal limit as we're allowed, obviously. I mean, and that, that is one of our really, really good sellers again. Yeah. 2240. And then you got the American Classic, the 1377 yeah. pump. I had one of them, yeah. I'm sure I did. Yeah, lovely little thing. You can even get the old rat catcher stock fit on the back if you want. Right, yeah. Take the thingies off, put it on the back. But that's, yeah, the old American Classic. Again, we sell loads of them. Classic, yeah. 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 And then here you've got the 3576W, which has now been replaced with the Vigilante. It's exactly okay. the same gun, but you'll be able to put BB through it as well. Right. It says semi-auto, shoots 177 pellets on a mag like that. You can buy these mags separate as well, so you can have a pocket full of them ready to go. Basically, stick it in there, away you go. Okay. Again, these are all CO2 powered. Yeah. These are all CO2 powered. If I can get the mag on, there we are. CO2 goes in the little thing down there. Yeah, yeah. Same as the usual. Drop it in, yeah. Drop it in, where you go. But then you get onto the BBs now. These are all BB guns, so the 357S, 357B, CO2 powered. They really look the part. Yeah. They take a little mag, basically, that sits in, uh, looks like a bullet, and you put a little ball in the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. And basically, that's the way they go. They've got a good weight to them as yeah, well. Yeah, they've got a good they, yeah. weight. They feel like they're well made. There's, you know, metal, yeah, basically. Yeah. So that's them 357s. Then you go on to the GI 1911, which again, CO2 again, BBs again, and it's a blowback, so that's the top. Yeah, yeah, it's like a load of blowback. Yeah. Yeah. CO2 in the bottom there, same sort of thing. It's a metal version. You can get a plastic version as well, with like a, a little silence thing and a light yeah. on it and that sort of thing. So. Then you've got the CCT, again, another Russian sort of looking thing, but these are now out of production. But we still right. have stocks, so you'll still be able to get them in the UK. Another BB, another CO2, same sort of thing. Cool. Here you've got the C41 and the C range, really. P38, is that? Yeah. I mean, the CO2 again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They're all BB firers again. So that's that one. You've got the 1088, another little BB. More plastic -y than what the other yeah, ones yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're coming down to the lower end of the scale here. Pro 77 kit. Like garden plinkers, are they? Yeah. Garden plinkers, just for yeah. pressing around. The T4, same sort of thing. And then the C11, bottom of the range there. Which is a lovely little thing for plinking around in the garden. Yeah. Take CO2, magazine goes up there, it's a stick magazine. Yeah. yeah. And that's that. That's the Crossman range in guns, really. Brilliant.